Hey, what is up, guys? Me, I'm Aturi Killer, bringing you a video on UFC, and I am Torres on the right, and this video is going to be about on how to win. Um, it's going to be basically be a live commentary of me trying to get the win and show you guys the best way to win a match, the best strategies, the best... You know how to look at a match. You know, you know. Basically, just watch the video, guys. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and let's go. Thank you for the support. We're almost at twelve thousand. Let's go. Okay, so touch gloves is good. Torres. Now the best thing to do is always be on the lookout of your opponent. He was going for the clinch. I'm not too sure why he was going for the clinch. But I am not. Okay, went for the right head kick. Okay, so let's see if he's going to be doing the significant strikes. Okay, mostly body. I mean, mostly head. Alright, you want to definitely throw in those combos. You know, either do body head or head body and then finish it off. Okay, so he's switching it up. Nice leg kicks. Good work blocking that. There's another nice kick. Very nice kicks here. Good you definitely want to work the body to tire that opponent out. Doing a fantastic job of blocking shots. Remember to always keep your stamina up high, guys, or else it's not going to be very efficient. with a nice jab. Good block, straight counter. Oh, big right. Wow, Superman punch. Alright, let's just taunt a little bit. You know, if taunting makes your stamina regain a little bit more. Okay, come on. Nice head kick. Ooh, okay, we got stunned there. in the leg as well. Oh, and another jab. Big power jab. Okay, let's play more smart. Nasty combinations here. Oh, head kick. Looking and if you want to try and get that occasional nice shot. Son of a gun. Why did I pick such a small person? I don't get it. We're just going to take it down. You know, just in case you don't think you're going to go for the... Uh, you don't think you have stand-up game, the best way to also do it is go on the ground. But if you want to get the nice knockout, you're always going to go and try to be on top. Now the best way is to always look at the direction. If he's going to the right, you see the right hand going on the right. You have to put your R R two. You have to press R two and then the stick. You have to choose the correct direction. So either this, okay, beautiful. I figured she was gonna go up. Yeah, so they're not. She's not very good on the ground. She was actually good on the ground. She would have blocked. She would have blocked the punches into her face. Now, I definitely want to show you guys a match where I can get the KO. So we're going to go to the next match. I'm going to show you guys how to better win. But definitely, going on the ground when you're on top, the best way to do it is if you're holding R2 and waiting for the person to make a transition and they're putting their right hand on your left knee, make sure to put R2 and then go to the right with the R stick. And that's how you block those transitions. But you have to do it at the correct time. And the punches, me doing the same punch, you know, if, she, if that person playing was much better, they could have just... Pressed R1 and then, you know, pushed the triangle button to block that. So, or I mean the, uh, to the right to block that. So, they weren't that well. They weren't that good on the ground. So we're gonna go to the next match see if we could get some nice stand-up action going. 
All right, we're back. Well, this is the second match. We are Saint Pru, and we do have a reach, a little height, and reach advantage over him. Um, let's see what we could do. Hopefully, we get a nice stand up going on. Just in case we feel a little bit iffy about the stand up, we're going to take it down to the ground. But our main objective of this. Uh, fight is to get a knockout so let's see how that goes we're gonna first we're not gonna be very aggressive we're gonna move in slowly we're going to see what he does and uh, the best thing to do is always see his first couple moves and then you know what he is all about some people like to switch it up but that's always a problem but you always have to you know unexpect expect the unexpected Interesting. He's American, but out of uh, London, England, I guess he has an American citizenship or something. I don't know. Okay, skip, please. Evil Veen, our referee for this light heavyweight fight. Why is he not skipping? Come on, buddy. Jimmy Manoa. Ready? Open scene. Ready? Here we go. Is he not playing? Is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Saint Pru. Black trunks for Manawa. Head kick, nicely done. Now he's playing. And another strike lands. All right, so let's see. He's blocking his face the whole time. Big shot, just missed. All right, if he's gonna block, okay, now never mind. Yeah, he's gonna block his face whenever we're in contact. Excellent jab. So his mobility is not gonna be as fast. Oh, Whoa. Okay, well that was strange. Okay. Big kick misses. He's going only for the head. Beautiful body shot there too. Combination. See, if you just see an opponent always going for the head, you already know that he's just gonna keep going for the head. Oh, there's a body. Oh, very nice. Nice combo. Nice. Did some leg damage. Doing an excellent job of mixing up his strikes. He does have a chance, guys, to attack the legs. Oh, he lands the that is the actually a perfect way to actually nice slow down your opponent. He clipped him again. Timing his strikes nice. Okay, we're losing too much stamina. This is a bad. Good defense by Manawa. Like I said, we want to keep at least some stamina going. It's a nice jab there, Joe. Oh, big shot by St. Cruz. Ooh. Tags him. He's really doing a good job of controlling distance and getting off these shots. Nice straight by St. Cruz. Okay, this guy's throwing combos. Oh, he's getting some hip in that one. He's starting to land those kicks to the body. Joe, you're all over. All kicks right. to the body, a true factor in this fight. He got tagged there. Back and forth. Okay, let's keep it going. Keep it going. Looking for another one of those big right hands. Nice. Left kick to the body. He's landing a lot Son of a gun. Sink through the solid right. <laughs> Elbow galore. Looks like he's looking to set up that uppercut. Okay, hold on. Nice roundhouse kick to the body. Good connection with the straight by Sink through. And was left eye is closing up. And he caught him again. He just blocked the very This guy's gonna knock me out if I keep playing stupid. Good roundhouse kick to the midsection. Okay, chill it out. Big finishing punch. Good straight by Manawa. Nice block to the punch to the head. Oh, he got caught with the uppercut. Alright. Oh, got him. Ooh. He definitely had that round. To be honest, I, I it, oh man, it really makes me makes me furious. I, it's like the people that I'm either picking or the people that I either have are slower than the opponent. All right, let's see. I can't just I can't just complain. We gotta go at it. Okay, we got to hit. Okay, now he's the same. 
with the kick to the body. Think through the good knee to the body. And he answers. He got nailed in the body. He is in big trouble here. We got him. We got him. We got him. Could be over. It's over. There we go. We got a nice little KO, guys. And he quit too. Oh my God, he quit. Now, guys, when you do this and you humiliate someone, it's the best feeling in the world. If you guys like that video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. And comment down if you need more tips. I can write down something because I know you really didn't see much in this video. I really did a crappy job. But just let me know and I'll definitely help you guys out through the comment section down below. Alright guys, thank you. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.